Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Complete the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. In the last episode we got found the cure for vampirism, got a sweet reward for it with a lot of gold, and we also set up a Dunbarrow Cove with some pirates that apparently are on their way to go and plunder some stuff. Um, I think we're going to get like a weekly income from that or something, I'm not sure exactly, but in today's episode I would like to set up Deep Scorn Hollow, uh, which is the final uh, play a home DLC that we still have to do and I would also like to I think continue with the Dark Brotherhood I think that's what we're going to be doing for now uh, or at least do one more uh, you know contract for the Dark Brotherhood I think maybe we'll do like we'll do one contract for the Dark Brotherhood and then do something else and you know we'll like alternate or something because uh, you know as much as I like I'm loving the Dark Brotherhood and I don't want to and so soon and I'm also loving Nern Root, which is why I was thinking we haven't really gone down this coast so there might be some here and indeed there were there's also a lot of mud crabs though so let's just kill this guy um whoa you okay there bro <laughs> and then we'll be we'll be on our way is there someone else here oh yeah there's another one Jesus okay uh, I just wanted to Nern Root, but I what that went straight through him bro okay Let's head to Deep Scorn Hollow, which we have actually already been to, and make our way inside. I'm not sure if there's... Oh, hi, Shadow Me. Just got your butt in my face there. Uh, it's pointing us... Why is it pointing us down here? Oh, is it, like, sunken? Interesting. Can we, like... Whoa! Wow, that was a big jump, wasn't it? Yeah, wow, we can actually, like, get up here. Oh, come on, they should have put a chest up here. Never mind. Wow! Oh my god, look how far we can jump. <laughs> anyway, I think we need to go down. Where's the entrance? Ah, in here. Deep Scorn Hollow needs a key. Ah, there we go. We have the key. Brilliant. So, this is like... Ah, here we go. I've discovered a long forgotten journal within Deep Scorn Lair. I should read it to learn more about this unusual structure. I've also got a dead slaughter fish here. And a flawed pearl. Interesting. Grey Wind's journal. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to read this. How long is it? Wow. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll read it. Okay. Sithis speaks to me. He does not use words, but I can hear his voice. Echoes of darkness spring from his lips and tell me what I must do. The Dark Brotherhood must be purged of its clean-blooded vermin, and a new order must take the reins. The time is nigh for the vampire to claim his rightful place as the true hands of Sithis. I have secured the help of many of my kin, and soon we shall spread like a cold fog through the ranks and make the group our own. Soon Sithis will give the sign. The time will be right and the crimson scars will strike. We are betrayed. That cursed Silarian has made true our plans to the fingers, and we have been discovered. The Brotherhood struck as we slept, not even giving the scars the chance to fight back. Using their silver weapons, they pierced the heart of many of my brothers. The screams I could hear as they turned to dust still echo within my mind. I was able to dispatch two of the pure bloods that fell upon me, and before they could send more, I made good my escape. I must find a place to hide, to recover from this blow. I will make my way south to Deep Scorn Hollow, my old hideaway from when I was but a novice. There I will make my dark plans, and we shall see who Sithis truly favours. It's been nearly a month, and yet none of my brethren has returned to the fold. What puzzles me is why I have not heard from my lord. Sithis hasn't spoken to me since that dark night. What have I done to displease him? I have slain many since then, and poured their lifeblood on his altar, but still he remains silent. As I ponder this, I turn my attentions to the lair. Deep Scorn Hollow will rise as the new headquarters of the Crimson Scars, but it must be prepared. So much to do. The lair has improved much. I was fortunate to find Rowley Eardwolf at the Warwinet Inn outside the, the Imperial City, another Scar who had escaped the Night of Slaughter. He now does his dark work acquiring the tools I need to bring Deep Scorn Hollow back to its former glory. I must remember him in the future should I ever need these items again. All along I was mistaken, all along. I was the blight upon Sithis and his dark name. Tonight he spoke to me and again I learned of his displeasure. Again, I heard no words, but I knew the meaning. I was meant to take blood, not spill blood, but never to taste blood. My sanguine ways have offended my lord. I must cleanse myself of this filth. I must find a way. I have found it. My lord will be pleased. My answer lies with the purge blood salts. Yes, I will bathe in these tonight and free myself from my old ways. Hail Sithis. 
Dark ruler, soon I will be your only true disciple. Okay, uh, cool. Well, let's have a look. I'm not sure if there's going to be any enemies in here. Um, I wouldn't imagine so, but maybe, maybe, they might be. Uh, I mean, there weren't any enemies in Frostcrag Spire, were there? No, I mean, there definitely were in Battlehorn Castle, because we had to take over the place, didn't we? But, we may as well have a look around. Uh, Deep Scorn Cloister. Uh, we'll have a look around, and then we will go and buy everything to... You know, restore the place and we'll have another look around. Ooh, what's this? A bunch of renewal. Only a vampire carrying purge blood salt may use the pool. Oh, so that's how you... Oh, I wonder, is that another way to... Oh, wow, look at that. I actually just knocked the torch out of the thing. <laughs> I didn't expect to do that. Yeah, I, I guess, is that another way to cure vampirism? I guess so. And what is this? Ah, pure blood crystal. Ah, purge blood salt. Interesting. I mean, I think now that we've cured our vampirism, I don't think we can ever become a vampire again. Um, we've got a pickaxe there. I was wondering if it's going to say a recently used pickaxe, because that just, I don't know, it just amuses me for some reason. Uh, we have an arm here, which is disgusting, but okay. Also a skull. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, and another skeleton, okay. Um, lots of skeletons, brilliant. I suppose the guy was a vampire. Um, yeah, I guess that's another way you can, you know, cure yourself of vampirism, but we had to do the quest way either way because that goes back outside because it's a quest and we need to do all of the quests. Um, but yeah, I don't think you can become a vampire again after you've become one once before. I think you're kind of, you're, you're permanently resistant to it, I think. Deep Scorn Shrine and Wooden Door. Where does this go? Ah, oh, we've got a bedroom of some kind in here. Okay, not particularly nice looking. What, uh, he mentioned a shrine to Sithis, which is interesting, because we're obviously in the Dark Brotherhood, so that's very interesting. Whoa! Oh my god! Look at how cool that is! Look, there's like people like, like, like entombed in rock. Oh my god, and like some of them don't have faces. Man, that's creepy. Wow, that's so cool though! Look, I mean, look at that. Tell me that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen. And I'll tell you, you're lying, because that is the coolest thing you've ever seen. I, I've made the executive decision for you. It is the coolest thing ever. Oh my god. Look, that is, I guess that's Sithis, and like his face is all covered in bandages. Wow, that's so cool. Okay. <laughs> There's gotta be cool stuff down here, right? Ah, Grey Wind's final cash. Base Ring of Endurance. That was obviously the guy's journal we were reading. I mean, not much in your final cash, if I'm being honest. Uh, you got anything else down here? What is this? Ica Basin. Ica of Sithis required to activate the altar. Uh, unusual box. Crimson Eviscerator. Uh, One-handed blade. Absorb strength, three points. Damage health, damage magicka, weakness to poison. Eh. Uh, probably won't use it, but it's cool nonetheless. Uh, what's this? Ah, nightshade. Very topical, I suppose. Yeah, wow, this is so cool! I mean, look at that! That's so cool! That's like the coolest thing I've ever seen in a video game. I mean, just like, imagine that with today's graphics. Just, ugh, man, that's so cool. Nice stairs. Uh, I don't know what the story is behind these guys that are, like, trapped in the wall. Uh... Yeah, I, I don't know what the story is there, but okay, that's really cool. Oh, look, it's like, look, is that meant to be like a hand or something grabbing him? And is that meant to be like another Sithis or something? I don't know, but it's super cool. Uh, so yeah, we need we need the Ica of Sithis. Uh, that might be something that we buy from, you know, the guy that does all the upgrades. Uh, right, where do we need to go? We've been, th yeah, I think we need to go back this way. It's always, uh, did this go out to the Topol Bay? Yes, it did. Okay, let's go out here and, ah, okay, so we've got a nice little trap door there, that's nice. Okay, let's go and buy the stuff from the guy we need to go and buy stuff from, uh, which is here, uh, which is also the place where we need to do the Shadow Banish Wine quest. Uh, we haven't managed to find any other Shadow Banish wine yet. I think I'm just gonna have to look up the locations, honestly, because I can't find them. Um, but yeah, uh, so... Oh! Oh, she's sleeping! You have my I, ear, citizen. I thought she was dead. Move out the way! Yeah, I thought she was dead. I was like, Welcome back, Ooh. traveler. 
Did we do that? But no, it's okay. She's not dead. She was just sleeping. Why do you sleep down there? Like, it's an inn. Do you not have your own bed? Psst. Ah. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come here. Look at him. He's I like sitting on the stairs. Have you ever seen that? I bet what they did is there's Greetings. like, there's actually a you? stool, but it's I like phased Deirdre into the stairs. I bet that's how increased. they did it. You need something special? Check out my wares. You won't find this stuff at your local general store, that's for damn sure. His face is, like, wonky. Look, this Matt side of his mouth is higher and he actually, like, speaks wonky. That's interesting. So, Only quality goods for sale here. You have... What can I yes, interest you in? here we go. Let's haggle a little bit. He likes us a lot. So, we have quite a lot. Oh, actually, not that too much. So, we have deep scorn bedroom area. Yes, I would like that. Uh, deep scorn cattle cell. Oh, wow, because I guess it's, like, the evil vampire lair. Deep scorn dark minion. Deep scorn dining area. Garden rec receipt. Okay. Uh, storage area. And study area. Oh, and the Iker of Sithis. I'll take that. We have so much gold, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, we've all he's also got some other cool stuff, but nothing that we need. Okay, thank you very much. Yep. Is that everything? What do you Let's trying? see if we can't teach you it. That's fine. I've now purchased everything Rowley Eared Wolf has available for Deep Walk Scorn always Hollow. in the shadow of Sithis. Cool. Is he a vampire? Aye. I can't tell. You need something special? No, I don't think he is. Because the, the journal mentioned the that, oh, I'm so glad I found him. But I don't know, maybe he was just like kind of part of it, but not a vampire. I'm, I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's head back to Deep Scorn Hollow. And, oh, it's not a quest anymore. Okay, yeah, we just need to go down here. Uh, head back, check out our new dig, and yeah, see what it's like. And also use that Iker of Sithis because it's like the coolest thing ever. Where's that little trap door? Is it like over here? No, where's the trap door? I don't want to have to go underwater every time. I mean, it's no big deal if we have to, but where's the trap door? Oh, is it like over there maybe? I don't know. Let's just go underwater. That's fine. Um, it is cool that the entrance is underwater though. Okay, here we go, and let's have a look at how the place looks now. Ooh, look at this. We've got like an alchemy area. Chokeberry vine. <laughs> okay, never heard of that before. Uh, I'll take some of these, thanks. Um, I do, I'm going to need to do alchemy at some point, so I will take these. Excellent. What's through here? Oh, wow. Lovely. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant painting, guys. I don't know who's been painting that, but great. Oh, victim's loot chest. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, well, there's nothing in it. We've got like a training area here. Uh, foot locker. Ooh, 10 gold. Uh, the lusty Argonian maid. Haha. -ha. Um, yeah, that's just like a training room or something. Um, okay. And um, what is through here? Oh, wait, oh, wait. We've got this area as well. Is this the storage area? I guess so. Yeah, I just got a whole load of. Oh, I'll take those. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's not really that much in here. Oh, I speak too soon. I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll also take these and oh, a scythe. <laughs> oh, we've got jewelry boxes which is with a brass ring. Uh, yeah, trash. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely nothing in those. Okay, cool. Storage area. Uh, and is this going to be like the dining room through here? Oh, there's nothing in here. Oh, come on, you can put something in here? Yeah, hey, look, it's still got a, an arm. Okay, so this, yeah, this is the purge blood, the, the purge blood bathroom, I suppose. <laughs> that goes out to the Topol Bay. This, ah, a rusty door. Who, deep scorn prisoner. You cannot wake the prisoner. Oh, so I guess if you were a vampire, then you could feed on him. Uh, and he'd never wake up. We've also got some random food here. Okay, brilliant. What is this? Oh no, it's just a chain. Okay. Apparently we had like a dark minion or something, but I can't see them. Unless that was the... No, that was the... Ah! Sithis be with you. Dark minion. At your service, master. Ooh, you are ugly. Is he a vampire? I think he might be a vampire. Murder in the name of Sithis. Yes, master. Whatever you say. Yeah, he definitely is a vampire. He has sharp teeth. Okay, so he was off to what? Go and murder someone? <laughs> okay, I guess maybe if he murders someone, there'll be then stuff in the loot chest. I, I don't know. 
Um, okay, well, brilliant. Well, we'll see what he comes back with. Oh, are there any, uh, got any skill books here? I do like skill books. Yes, there we go, light armor increased. I've uh, got some scrolls. Immortal Blood, we definitely already read that. Uh, Darkest Darkness, read that. Any, any skill books? Uh, Great to Detect Life. Sacred Witness? Nope. What about over here? Sithis? Yes, Alteration Skill Increase. Uh, whatever the hell that says. No? Okay. Uh, done my History and Culture? No, of course not. Uh, I've got a pearl and some gold pieces down here that I will take. Uh, gold Ribbon of Merit, we've already read that. That was in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, I believe. Okay, brilliant. Uh, wow, <laughs> look at this. Oh look, you can just have, you know, you can have a lie, lie back in your coffin and just, you know, re read some books, you know, drink some blood or whatever. Ooh, Raiment of the Crimson Scar. Ooh, I'll take that, thank you very much. Oh look, look, it's like a little little set of drawers on top of a big drawer. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> I love that, it's like, you know those like little like desk organizers you get and like you put them on top of your desk, it looks like that. That's cute. What's this? Oh, a nern root. Really? That's a nern root? Okay. And a daedra heart, interesting. Uh, we've got a minotaur horn and some Daedra teeth. Nice, I'll take those. And I don't think we've seen the... Oh no, I guess that was the bedroom, right? With the coffin. But this is the shrine. So... Oh my god, this is so cool. Will it work now? The shrine to Sithis is now active. Recant your honourable nature and you shall be rewarded. My honourable nature, excuse me? I mean, you know, Alyssa is honourable, but like... We've like literally murdered and stolen so much. I think <laughs> she looks so ugly. Uh, not being a vampire didn't fix that. Yeah, what, I think, can we like, I think you can see like your fame and infamy points. I think that's a thing in this game, right? Uh, wow, look at all these things we've done. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're the Archmage, we're a Knight Sister in the Blades, we're the Grand Champion of the Arena, the Master of the Fighters Guild, a Sister in the Order of Virtuous Blood, we're a Knight Errant in the Knights of the White Stallion, we're the Champion of Cyrodiil, we're a Pilgrim, we're a Divine Crusader, we're the Mad God himself, and a Silence from the Dark Brotherhood. We've done so much stuff. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, so we've got 134 fame points, but only 13 infamy points. Do they have to, so does, does my infamy have to overtake my fame? Is that what it has to be? Wow, we've seven, stolen 727 items. Really? Okay. Um, yeah, apparently we've assaulted 25 people and murdered 20 people. Um, our largest bounty is 2,000. Wow, we've killed 1,503 creatures. Oh wow, I like this. Souls trapped. <laughs> okay, Oblivion Gate shut 9. Cool. Artifacts found. What's an artifact? I have no idea what an artifact is, but I'm, I'm gonna... Gonna look that up. Days as a vampire, 11. Jokes told. <laughs> what? 41. Oh, is that in the persuasion wheel? It's so weird that they've got a stat for that. Yeah, but I think it's that our fame, because obviously we've done so much, it still exceeds our infamy. So, yeah, I don't really know what to do about that, really. But, yeah, I guess we can't use it for now, but... Uh, we'll, we'll come back at some point and I'll make sure we can use it. But yeah, that is Deep Gone Hollow. So, uh, let's make our way out now. Uh, we need to go this away. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if that Nern root uh, respawns. It might. Um, where do I... How do I get out? <laughs> is it... Ah, here we go, yeah. This will take us out. We're going out the other way. Uh, I don't remember where the you know the staircase leading out to the trapdoor is, but never mind. Okay, so I think now we are going to do uh, continue with Dark Brotherhood. So we have 
Final justice. I have picked up my next contract from the dead drop beneath the old bridge. I have been ordered to kill an Argonian hunter named Shalise. Oh, damn it. We could have just... <laughs> We could have killed two birds with one stone and like slashed her with the dagger and also killed her at the same time, you know, for the Cure Your Vampirism quest. Oh well. Who is holed up in a flooded mine. She is a wanted psychopath, so I should be cautious. Okay. Yeah, man, we totally should have killed two birds with one stone there, but never mind. Let's go to the Breville stables and head over there. Um, so... Wow, I remember being here ages ago for, uh, you know, the, the, the Way Shrines when we did the, the Knights of the Nine DLC. Wow, that was so long ago. We've done so much stuff in this Let's Play. It's crazy. So here are the flooded mines. I'm going to assume uh, that they're flooded uh, and therefore as an Argonian, she's going to have the advantage here uh, because, of course, Argonians are very adept swimmers. They can breathe underwater. I don't think... I don't know if they actually have the advantage when they're in the water. I mean, they can breathe underwater. But yeah, I don't know if they like have better fighting skills or something in water. I don't think that's a thing. Oh, hi. Are you the Argonian I'm looking for? Yeah, look, I'm not actually hitting him. Oh, Shalise. This this is Shalise. Okay, wow. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch to my sword for this because uh, Oh wow, our bow's broken. I think that might have been something that she just did. Um, yeah, we're gonna switch to our sword because we don't have the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can't shoot arrows in the water. There we go, Shalise is dead. I must pick up my reward and next contract at the dead drop located in the coffin, just outside the ruins of Fort Reckman. Let's see what Shalise had. Yeah, long sword of fracturing, so it disintegrated our weapon, I'll take it. And five gold, how much gold, eh? Uh, is there anything else in here? I mean, I have a feeling there's going to be quite a lot of uh, people here and I'm not really... Oh, a battered crate. That's quite specific. Nothing interesting in it though. Yeah, I, I thought there might be a lot of people here, but it doesn't seem like there is. I'm not sure if there's actually going to be anything of interest here, but yeah, I think we might just head out. Um, yeah, I'm not really that interested in looting the places. I mean, she says as she continues to explore and loot, but ah, nah, that's going too deep. I'm not interested. <laughs> Let's leave. Yeah, we've got so much loot, we really don't need to. And also, I kind of, I know, you know, in the Skyrim Let's Play, we're going to be clearing out every single location, but I'm not interested in doing that in Oblivion because, oh wow, no, 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 that's the wrong way, I think. Wait, oh man, I'm lost. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, okay, I need to go back this way. And then turn this way. Okay, there we go. Yes. Yeah, there we go. I'm out, I'm out. Cool. Yeah, in the Skyrim Let's Play, we're going to be, you know, clearing out every location. And I was originally going to be doing that for Oblivion as well. But I just don't see the point. Because you don't get anything from it. You know, like... You don't even get, like, there's just, there's not much incentive to... Is anyone going to attack me here? No? Okay. You know, there's no incentive to, you know, just explore in Oblivion, really, because you never get anything from any of the dungeons. You just get some random loot, and we've got so much loot and money, we don't need it. And, yeah, you just you get nothing from it. You don't even, even if it's just... Oh, I... Oh. Okay, so apparently we're now a master with a blade, again, because <laughs> we did that before, and uh, but then it like disappeared. So let's look at our blade skill. Yeah, so now it's at a hundred, but it it got to a hundred before, and then it like went back to being like ninety three or something. So yeah, I'm not sure I particularly believe that, but whatever. Yeah, but like my point is, you just don't really get much from exploring in Oblivion. You know, you just get some random loot, which I really don't need. Oh wow, I've got some blood here. Ew, what on earth is going on here? <laughs> okay, I can hear something's here. Who's here? Who's attacking me? Hmm? I have no idea, but I think, is this the coffin? Yes, okay, we have 500 gold. Alval Uvani's schedule and dead drop orders number five. Okay, uh, don't read that yet. 
Uh, what now? Huh? It. I have picked up my next contract from the dead drop in the coffin outside Fort Redman. I have been ordered to kill Alval Ovani, a dark elf merchant who spends his time travelling around Cyrodiil. I should consult the schedule that has been left for me to determine where and when I should strike. Ovani is a master in the Destruction School of Magicka and has killed before, but he does have a weakness. If Alv Alvu Ovani drinks mead, he'll be rendered immobile due to a rare allergy to honey. But then it immediately says, I have killed Alvu Ovani. I must pick up my reward and next contract at the dead drop located in the market district of the Imperial City in a hollowed out tree stump behind Stonewall Shields. And oh, ha what? Did we kill him before? I. What? I don't. I don't understand. How is he already dead? Did, like, did we do something before that meant that he ended up dead? I'm just going to check and see if there's any Shadow Banished wine at the top of this place. Um, I doubt it, but we may as well look. Oh! No. Any other chests? Ah, oh, I see another chest over there. Can we... Oh! Shadow Banished wine. No. Okay. Oh, there is a little jewelry box, though. Yeah, we, we must have killed him somehow before. I mean, let's have a look at his schedule. Because we've got his schedule, so yeah, here it is. He As he travels around Cyrodiil, Alvo, Alvo Il, Uvani, <laughs> I can't say that, <laughs> can be found at the following locations on the following days. Mondas or Terdas Breville, the Lonely Suitor Lodge, Midas or Terdas Skingrad. Yeah. Okay. But why, why is he already dead? And like, I don't even know where to find him. We must have killed him somehow. Um, I just don't know when. I mean, no, 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 not that. Uh, if we go to these places, we may be able to find his body. So Breville, the Lonely Suitor Lodge. Let's go there first. Yeah, I want to see if I can find his body. I mean, ah, uh, no, you know what? Realistically, we're not going to be able to find his body. Like, if he's dead, he's dead. So, yeah, we may as well just move on, I guess. But when did we kill him? I if you guys know when we killed him, are we in trouble here? No, I guess not. Yeah, if you know when we killed him and why, please let me know, because I've clearly forgotten. Or if, I don't know, maybe he just, uh, maybe he died from just something else we did and we didn't do it directly, but anyway... Moving on, my next contract has not been completed automatically, which is nice, <laughs> uh, is Deb Drop Orders number six. Alvu, Alval Uvani is dead, just like all the others. You, continu you continue to impress me, Silencer, and I am only too eager to indulge your homicidal instincts. Your next target is a savage Nord barbarian living alone and exposed at a small campsite on the summit of Knoll Mountain. This barbarian, Havelstein Horblood by name, savagely butchered the chieftain of a mead hall on the island of Solstein. Oh, does that sound familiar? The chieftain's sister has foregone the Nord cost custom of extracting the monetary retribution of Weregild and instead wants Horblood to pay with his life. You, dear Silencer, will help put her family at peace. You are to go to Knoll Mountain, locate Havelstein Horblood, and send his soul to Sithis. When Horblood has been executed, journey to the Aeliad Ruin of Nornal. In the flooded section of that ruin, you will find a chest submerged in the water. As you may have guessed, the chest contains your reward for killing Havelstein Horblood and your next contract. Okay, so I guess we're going to go probably to Gerald Mountains for this? That would make sense, right? Yes! And it's right next to Frostcrag Spire. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, we also need to we need to just repair all of our uh, stuff after Shalise, or whatever she was called, uh, absolutely destroyed them. So let's use our repair hammer on everything. Uh, I'm glad to see that our Morog Tong stuff is, uh, you know, kind of lasting a little bit longer than our Raiment of whatever it was. Uh, a heavy raiment did because that it just broke like every two seconds so looks like he's down here somewhere um he looks pretty close uh, i want to switch over to my bow because it's of course what we're using right now we've got arrows through all that uh, oh 
Is he right here? He might actually be right here at this camp. Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Didn't get him one hit. Oh, he's got some sort of glowy weapon as well. Interesting. Havelstein, just... Yeah, that's it. Right, stay... No, no, no. Stay right there. No, 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 no. Stop, stop moving, Havelstein. Oh, cool. You did, like, a flanking attack. Oh, wow. What? You set me on fire? That's cool, bro. But, uh, I win in the end. <laughs> Havelstein Horblood is dead. I must now pick up my reward and next contract and the dead drop located in an old chest that is sunk into the pool of the Iliad Ruin of Nornal. Uh, and, oh man, do we have to kill the dog as well? Come on, bro, just leave it leave it be, okay? I don't want to have to kill you. No? Oh, Redmore. Oh, you actually have a name. Yeah, no, we have to kill him. Okay, well, I gave you the option to live. Uh, he has a Daedric Battle Axe. Uh, that one's not enchanted, though. Didn't he have an enchanted one? It might have fallen from his body, though. I want it, though. Where, Where is your glowing red axe? Ah! Battle Axe of Putrefication. Thank you very much. I'll take that. And, oh, we should probably actually activate the location before we leave, shouldn't we? And also see if he has anything. Oh, look at this. Got a whole load of meat. I'll take that. Uh, the dog won't be needing it anymore, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, I gave him a chance and he wouldn't listen. Anything else? I'll take this stuff. Thank you. Okay, and now let's be on our way. I know I said I was going to kind of... Oh, I've already been to Nornal. Um, yeah, I know I said I was going to kind of, you know, alternate uh, between Dark Brotherhood and other stuff, but I think it's actually... We might just continue doing Dark Brotherhood for this episode because they go pretty quickly. So, yeah, I think we'll just continue with the Dark Brotherhood. Is there going to be anything in here? Uh, there's not going to be any Vala Stones. Oh, there's Welkin Stones. I was going to say no, no Vala Stones, you know, this early on in the dungeon. They're usually much further in. I will take the Welkin Stone and the other stuff, though. And I see a rat. Where is my loot and my next order? I hope it's not too far in. Oh, wow, lots of rats there. Is it down here? Oh, we've got a rusty key. Okay. There we go. Sunken chest, 500 gold and dead drop orders number seven. I have picked up my reward and received my next contract. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother tussling with these guys. Um, we, we may come back and like explore some of the Aeliad ruins and stuff because I, I do think I do like the Aeliad ruins and there may be certain locations that we explore fully even if they're not quest related just because they're interesting and obviously we'll be doing a great deal more exploration in the Shivering Isles because there is a point to exploration there um but yeah I think we're, we're not going to clear every location because you don't even get a reward of like on the map it shows it's cleared you know which you do in Skyrim so yeah I don't think we're going to be clearing every location but for now Let's read Dead Drop Orders number seven. My compliments on another job well done. Havelstein Horblood was more swine than man and deserved to die quivering like an animal. You must not stop, you must kill again. Your next target is a wood elf named Ungolem who resides in the city of Breville. Breville is also home to an ancient statue known as the Lucky Old Lady. It is seen as a symbol of good luck and prosperity and the fools of Breville often speak to the statue and wish for good tidings. Every night, poor lovestruck Ungolem un 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 <laughs> visits the lady and pleads desperately for the heart of a young maiden. This maiden is married and her husband has learned of Ungolem's affections for his bride. He fears the competition, it would seem, and has commissioned the Dark Brotherhood to help in the matter. You must go to Breville, locate Ungolem and kill him. The wood elf owns a house in the city, but he spends his days securely locked inside. I recommend you lie in wait at the lucky old lady statue and then eliminate Ungolem when he arrives for his nightly visit. He's generally there between the hours of 6pm and 1am. By all accounts, Ungolem is a deadly archer and a fearless opponent. I also have reason to believe he is expecting trouble, so if Ungolem senses danger, he may attack you on sight. And, like the Khajiit Jagasta, Ungolem has bribed his guards to look the other way if there is a fight, so they won't interfere. Be vigilant and bring the wood elf down. You must not fail. 
When Ingolum's body lies broken at the foot of the, his dear lady, you must journey to the city of Anvil. Your dead drop is in a barrel located behind the statue in the pond. As is standard, your award and next contract will be waiting. Okay. So, uh, as we go and do that right now, let's just do a hot save because we haven't done one of those in a while. Do a couple of them actually. <laughs> and yeah, well, yeah, we still got a little bit of time. Let's just head to Breville and do that. Uh, wait, 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 where's Breville? It's up here. I always get Breville and Leo win the wrong way around. Uh, two of my least favorite cities because Breville is just miserable. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it looks like that's the, you know, the statue that we go and, like, click on it and it gives us, like, a buff. Yeah, which I thought all of the statues did, but I guess it's just this one. I, I think I was getting it confused with, like, the all of the, you know, like, the red and green stones. Um, but yeah, so she's the only one that gives you a bonus or something. I was wondering if we could, uh, yeah, like, get up here or something, because that gives us a pretty good vantage point to kill this guy. <laughs> Uh, so, it seems like he is outside right now. Let's just save the game again. And lie here and wait. Uh, it's currently 7 a.m. So, if we wait 12 hours, it will be 7 p.m. and he should be here. And then we can kill him. Simple as that. I don't know whether we should put our chameleon stuff on. Uh, I don't think so. We don't really need to. I'm not sure if we'll actually be able to kill him in one shot, though, because our archery isn't that good, or marksman, as it's called in this game. So, there we go, that looks like him to me. Who's seeing me right now? Who can see me? Okay, there we go. What? Bro! What are you doing? <laughs> why are you- I mean, I know why I'm sneaking around, but why are you sneaking around? Anyway. Oh wow, we didn't even kill him in one shot, okay. Yep, okay, I didn't think we would, but... Yeah. Okay, there we go. Your blood turns to ice as a familiar shadow something, like grows near or something. Okay. Is that Lucian? That's usually what happens when Lucian arrives. I don't know why he would be here, but okay. Ungolem is dead. I must now journey to the city of Anvil and pick up my reward. My next contract at the dead drop there it is located in the barrel just behind the barn. Okay. So let's go and loot him first. No! No! Uh, I thought I could get here in time! Thought I could stop you! By Sithis, what have you done? What madness has claimed you? You have betrayed me. You have betrayed the Dark Brotherhood. Why? <laughs> I am here to end your miserable life. To... but... Uh, I can see the confusion in your eyes. You... You have no idea what I'm talking about. Do you? I'm not even sure who I'm talking to, because apparently we're talking to you through the floorboards. Uh, I think I do know what's going on. I guessed this when I saw the change in the writing style, but... Uh, no, what are you talking about? Your first dead drop contract. You carried that out, killed Celadane. After that, you eliminated the Draconis family, as ordered then. Betrayal. Your dead drops went unvisited. Your targets ignored. Instead, you have been systematically killing off all of the members of the Black Hand. Jagasta. Shali, Zuvaluvani, Havelstein, Horblood, Speakers and Silencers all, and Ungolum, the Listener himself. The surviving members of the Black Hand know you're innocent. They know you are only following orders. They believe I am the traitor. I am yours to command, Speaker. The traitor somehow switched your orders and has been sending you to the wrong dead drops. You and I have been deceived, dear friend. We must find out who is behind this betrayal. We haven't much time. I am hunted day and night by the Black Hand. They want me dead. Here is what you must do. Go now to your next dead drop. Lie in wait and confront whomever drops off the false contract. 
uncover the true traitor's identity, and then come see me. I'll be in hiding. Fort Farragut is no longer secure. It's under watch by the Black Hand. I'll wait for you in Apple Watch, the farm where you killed the old Draconis woman. It should be empty and safe. Now go, and may Sithis help us all. Okay. What a lovely conversation we just had with the floor bird, eh? Is he like learn the identity of the betrayer so we can what? end Oh look, he's all the way down here. <laughs> and restore the authority of the black hand. Okay. Please, by all means. So, I did kind of guess that this was kind of the direction it was going. Uh, around, ooh, birth storms, I'll take that. Uh, when the dead drops, they like change. They, they used to look like, uh, if I just take this stuff, uh, they used to look like, uh, like this, but then they changed to suddenly looking like this. And also the writing style clearly changed. So I was like, hmm, I think something's going on here, but I didn't want to ruin it in case I was in fact right, which it seems I was right. Um, which, to be at the risk of sounding a little bit full of myself, I usually am. When it comes to this sort of thing, I'm generally very good at kind of predicting what's going to happen next in the storyline. And I don't know, I think it was kind of obvious, but maybe it wasn't. And I don't know, <laughs> people tell me that I'm really good at it. So yeah, I didn't want to spoil it in case I was in fact right, which it looks like I am. But yes. We have been betrayed. We have been systematically killing off well met, members mate. of the Dark Brotherhood. Um, and yeah, now we need to try and find out who it is that it has actually betrayed us. So, we need to, yeah, we need to go to Anvil and see who's going to drop off the fake dead drop orders. Why is this guy just... A visitor, yes. City swimmer. <laughs> Why are you crawling around? Okay. Yeah, we will do that in the next episode, though. So... I hope you enjoyed this episode. That was certainly a big twist. The, the second massive plot twist of this quest line, the Dark Brotherhood is just full of plot twists, isn't it? Um, and yes, we will probably finish the Dark Brotherhood in the next episode. I don't know how close we are to finishing. Um, maybe it'll be another two episodes, but I think we're pretty close to the end here. Uh, so yeah, uh, subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next episode.